Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a polygon pattern effect all in Adobe XD. So let's get started. Goodness me, he was enthusiastic. Rightio, so we're now in Adobe XD and you can see I've created a new artboard, a thousand pixels wide and a thousand pixels high. Now I'm going to have 10 columns and 10 rows in my pattern, but depending on your artboard size, you might just need to do a little bit of maths yourself. So for example, for the width, just take the width of your artboard, divide it by the number of columns you'd like to have, and that's how wide each segment of your pattern is going to be. Do the same for the height and you've got the results, but I'm keeping this nice and simple. So we've got a thousand pixels wide, I've got 10 columns. So with the rectangle tool, I'm going to create a square. And the answer to that maths problem is 100 by 100. So when I repeat this square 10 times across and 10 times down, it's going to fit perfectly on the artboard. So let's just give this a fill for the time being. We'll go with a nice vibrant pink. And what I'm going to do is just zoom in, double click to go inside this shape and I can then select individual anchor points. So I'm going to select the top right one here and we'll just hit delete or backspace on the keyboard and it leaves me with this triangle and then I can click on the triangle, go to edit, duplicate and just drag this out holding shift and again hold shift and rotate from the corner until it says 180 degrees up here and then pick a different color for this. So we'll go for a slightly darker purple, bring it back in place until it snaps. Brilliant, there we go, so we've created a pattern. Next what we're going to do is drag over both of these shapes, whip out that symbols panel and just click the plus sign. Now this adds this as a symbol, we can reuse this anywhere within the document and if we change that symbol it will update every instance throughout the entire document. So if I select the symbol here on the artboard and select repeat grid, I can now drag this out to the right and to the left. Now I'm going to want to close these gaps up by clicking in between each object and just reducing that to zero so everything lines up perfectly there are no white gaps. And then once I've done that, I can drag this out to the right and to the bottom. And you can see, as I mentioned in the beginning, if you've done the maths correctly, everything should line up perfectly. So what I can do now is I can double click to go inside this here. And then I can double click to select an individual triangle because I've got two in here, the pink and the purple. And then I can go and make some changes and I see it adjust in real time, which is freaking awesome. However, this can get quite complicated, especially when you've got a massive pattern like this. So because I've created this as a symbol, I like to just drag an instance of this onto the workspace, just anywhere, and then edit this version away from this mass of triangles over here, which probably gives you a bit of a headache if you stare at it too long. So I can go and edit this version here. We'll go and change that pink again, and make some tweaks, get it looking pretty cool. Something maybe like that. But what I can also do is get a bit more creative. So if I select the shape here, I can move it around as one. But remember, I can double click to go inside it. And I've then selected half. You can see it updates in real time there. I could create some pretty, pretty crazy patterns doing this. Whoa. Uh, but I also want to <laughs> calm down, Dan. But if I hold down shift, I can select the purple one as well. So you can see they're both selected now and I can go to edit, duplicate, and then I could, oops, let's try that again, and then I could rotate these round, and you can see as I start rotating these, it gets even more bizarre over here, and I could change the opacity to 50%, so these two copies will blend onto the originals, and we could even go for something like that, or, yeah, that's kind of cool. So again, I can double click to go back inside. Which one have I got selected? That one. And we could pick an entirely different color. You can see we can get really creative here. Let's find, oh, that looks pretty cool. There we go. So we've got four different segments. And once I've, once I've done this, I can delete this temporary version here because it's still in my symbols panel. So if I ever need a copy of it, it's there ready to go. So there we go, we've updated the pattern, I can now select it, and of course I can extend this out as far wide or as high as I like, and then it's always there to edit in that symbols panel. 
And there we go, we are done. And there we go, that was how to create a polygon pattern effect all in Adobe XD. Guys, if you have any questions or comments, please do drop them down below. A huge thank you to the people who support me on Patreon. If you'd like to find out more information, there is a link in the description. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.